hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial in this example you will see how we can scrape pdfs using python and selenium so the website that we will be using to scrape our pdfs is this one right here so this is just a random website i'm not showing the the link because i just want to show you how we can do that so this website sells products as you can see and if we if we scroll down right here we can see that on this page we get a bunch of let's say links for pdfs as you can read right here catalogs and brochures and we got a bunch of them so for example these are the names this is the format which is pdf and here is our download so let me click on this second one for example we can see that we have a pdf okay so the goal of this tutorial is to download all these pdfs basically we want to make a selenium script that will just open this let's say page and then it will download all of these to a specific location so how can we do that okay so let's go to python and let's get started so the first thing first I will import the required libraries as you can see I'm importing selenium as you can see right here and I'm also going to use the web driver manager and if you are not aware of this library basically this library allows us to use selenium in a more easy way so then I will pass to the options I will instantiate our options and I will pass our options and this is the most critical part so basically what we want is for our selenium script to open the web page and then to click on each one of these the pdf urls but if you just click on them they will just open right here like we had previously but if we pass the following parameters let's say to our options they will be downloaded and this is the trick here so the parameters are the first one is the default directory which is just a let's say a folder i set on my computer which is this one right here this is my jupyter notebook and in here is where i want my files to be so i will go back to my script I will also need to set the prompt to false as you can see right here this basically means that when we click on a certain link we don't want a prompt we just want download immediately and we also will need to set the plugin that always open pdf externally to true so after that we need to instantiate our driver and pass the options after that we will just define our url this is the url of this web page right here and you will pass it to the driver and after that one important thing to do is the following we want our driver to maximize the window and you might be asking why do we need to do that so basically in selenium if we just ask selenium to click on any of these links or this button or whatever let's say tag on the page it will do that but if the the element is not well shown or there is another element above it we will get an error so basically the best way to prevent this is by maximizing the window and i'm implicitly waiting for five seconds you don't need to do this i'm just doing this in case my internet gets slow or something like that i want the page to load so this will just stop or pause the script for five seconds and we can just write the script or and we can just run the script right here right now so let's try it out and as you can see the web driver is downloading stuff and we have this web page that popped up 
it will get maximized and this is our web page as you can see so as you can as you can read right here we have chrome is being controlled by automated test software meaning we are using selenium to automate chrome and now let's pass to another important thing we said that we wanted to maximize the window in order for us to click on element safely but as you can see we have this pop-up this this cookies pop-up and we don't want this we want this to let's say whenever we open a new chrome driver this pop-up will be there and you want to take it off each time if it exists because if let's say we want to click on this element and let's say this pop-up is above it like so and selenium when i click on it it can't it will give you an error that's why we always want to remove these pop-ups so how can we do that using selenium i will just right click on this element and inspect it uh, okay let me get this down and let me inspect the element we can see that we have a div with an id of gs cookie and notification so we will get this id and then after that we will get the first button which is this one right here and then we click on it so let's get back to our script and here is our code so this cookie div you will ask driver to find element using xpath and here is the xpath we want to find a div that has an id of gs cookies notification which is the same one as this one in here gs cookie notification and then we will check if this is present or not on the page if it is present as you can see we will find it again and then we will find the button after it and we will click on it and what that will do is find this button and click on it so i will just close this window right now and open a new one so the best way to just close the window is to use driver that close i will run this and we can see the window disappeared so if i run this code once again this should close that pop-up so let me try that out and as you can see and as you can see the pop-up disappeared so now we are safe now we can go and get our urls so if i scroll down to our urls we can see that if i inspect on any one of them and if i get this down like so i will click on this icon and then on any of these so as you can see we have an a tag basically this is what we will be using to click we will ask selenium to get these tags and then to click on them so all of these links or download buttons or whatever you, you want to call them they are not buttons they are a tags mini links so these a tags have an href meaning we will check if we will first get all the a tags and then we will check if they have an href or not and then if you read carefully on this okay what they do if you read carefully on this href you would see it says dot pfd oh sorry dot pdf meaning this is a link for a pdf and this is very important to us because if we get all the links on the web page not all of them will get this link to a pdf only those that got the dot pdf in them in the href meaning in the link 
should be downloaded and just to be safe we will also check if this a tag have a download text so let me repeat that we will first get all the a tags and then we will check for the a tags that have a, an href basically an href attribute and then we will take that href and check that it has a pdf dot pdf in it and then we will check one last thing which is that our a tag have a download text so i will get back i will close this driver and in here i will first get all the a tags as you can see find elements and they said elements with an s not just element one which are the a tag i also added this count i will explain why and then i will loop over all these a tag that we found and check for the following the first condition is that when this a tag which is the one that we are looping need to have an attribute of an href and then it will need to have the dot pdf in that attribute as you can see right here and also it need to have the download in sorry about that it need to have the download in the a dot text and they specified lower text so that even if it's not in lower text it will get lowered as you can see so if any of let's say the a tags that we find here satisfy all these conditions meaning that meaning that we want to click on them these are our pdfs so after that i will just take that element and click on it and they will wait for two seconds i just want to wait you don't have to do that and after that i will add the following code so in here i add a count of zero and each time an element satisfies these conditions we will click on it and we will count it and when we have five of them i will break the loop and stop the code the reason i want to do that is is because i just want to download five pdfs if you want to download all of them you will remove this lines of code i'm just showing you how to do that so that's why i don't want to download all of them and you might be asking yourself okay we get the h the a tag of let's say a certain pdf why is it that when we click on it it gets downloaded and that's why we added this in here if we didn't add this options whenever we click on a certain pdf it will just get opened on a new tab like this one right here so let me try with another one if i click on it it will just get opened as you can see but when we add these options to our driver it won't get opened it will be downloaded to a specified directory and everything will go without you even noticing it so now that our script is ready let's test it out i will just run this code one more time and let's watch we have our window the pop-up disappeared and as you can see we got our files downloaded and if you count if you count them we'll find one two three four and five and now if i go to my folder and this is the folder i specified in the beginning the path to this folder is specified here in the options if i go on it and the double click we will find five pdfs okay i got six pdfs i don't know why 
Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so I just got five downloaded and the first one was downloaded by mistake when it was explained to you. I clicked on a previous window on one of those and that downloaded one of them. So that was my bad. Okay, so let me delete them just so that I can show you. I will close this window and they will run it once again just so, so that you can confirm that we only have five okay let's wait let's wait for it okay so we have five of them and if you count them we have one two three four and five if i go back to our directory we can see that we have five and let me make this bigger and if i double click on any one of them we can see that we have a pdf so that was it remember the idea here was to add this to the options and then to click on the links of the pdfs so thank you for watching i hope you would subscribe to my channel and i will see you on another tutorial thank you